Good afternoon, everyone. Happy to be here again with 12 days of Christmas. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we have our people there. All right. Slowly, people are coming. I'm glad to see you all. I am just inviting my guests here as we speak. Malt whiskey and, and I'm here to have another guest on our show 12 days of Christmas uh, with Paul John whiskey with the Christmas edition whiskey hello everyone so nice to see you all and as my guest will join that will be even more fun okay let's see to the game. Hello, Whiskey Badger. Nice to see you. Well, just to give you an overall uh, idea of what's happening here, uh, we started this show in 2020, yeah, when COVID first hit. And it was just like, a, you know, um, for me, it was a personal project. I started in my uh, personal channel. And it was all about appreciating Christmas uh, with our Christmas edition because that makes sense. And since I was home, I, I was doing like uh, 12, 24 days of Christmas, uh, which was quite fun because at the end of the day, uh, we were, we had a Christmas edition and I was home and I had nothing to do. So every day at 6.30, uh, we decided to do this. So last year I did it again. And this year, since we're going out now, uh, people can go around and see, uh, you know, accounts, friends, and they are not staying home that much. We decided to lower it to 12 days of Christmas and do it all over. Mix of Flair Institute. I'm fine. I hope you're doing good too. From Bahia Blanca, Argentina. Hi. Nice to see you. I saw Bursa Whiskey Club from Turkey. Nice to see you. Well, my guest is here. I'll be inviting him again and see if we can go live. Bartender Rahul, hello from Kolkata. Perfect. We're all over the world right now. I love it. I'm trying to add my guest here. Yeah, technical issues. Hello, hello. Jack, I'm sending. Okay, perfect. He's here, I guess. Perfect. Yeah, okay. I want to make sure. How are I'm you doing, right? Jack? I'm connected. Well, how's it going? Doing. Doing very good. It's Saturday is uh pretty good, pretty good. How are you doing? Very winter, winter. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Nebraska, so it looks oh, like yeah. Christmas you're, outside. You're in Nebraska, right? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I was a little bit confused because I heard that you were yeah. the one yeah, week ago last last Saturday few, exactly uh, like a week ago, I think, and I was like, and I was like, I was sending you the bottle. Am I sending you that? I'm sending you. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm glad you joined. Yeah. For the one who doesn't yeah, know so, you, can you please uh, introduce me? My yourself? name is Jack D. I think we have a small connection issue. Uh, I think Jack has some issues, so he's dropped. All right, can you see him? Let's try it again. This is interesting. Okay. Sure, I'm not uh, sure what's going on with Instagram. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> we, 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 we. <laughs> yes, so I'm Jack Vicky we too, to, on the Whiskey we, Street. We stopped at your name, so yeah, uh, I'm there. a whiskey educator, content creator, and um, I love trying spirits from all around the world. I'm sorry? Um, is this going to be your first time trying, Paul John? Yes, yeah, so funny is story is, your, uh, your I was supposed to try John? Paul John a year, a year and a half ago. And that I was uh, and that was when you guys were going through changes oh. with your brand ambassador uh, in New York. <laughs> so uh, at that time, 
I still remember okay. that he sent me some yeah, stuff definitely. from Paul John and he said, oh, we're going to have a live. And then he sent me a message and he went, yep, you see, I still have the box, the original box he sent me. So he said, we're going to have a live. And next thing I knew, he, he sent me an email. He said, I apologize. I would not. I would not. Uh, I'm changing um, career field. So I'm like, okay, no, no problem. But myself, I actually own yeah. a couple bottle of Paul John. And uh, I was just quite curious about the brand as a whole. I uh, is, I believe, the first ever Indian Perfect. whiskey that I've ever tried. Nice to hear that. And I'm here to answer all of your questions. And we can do that live whenever. Uh, there's a question. Why, which Paul John expression do you like the most? Need both of your opinions. We'll see about that in a second. And yeah, so today's thing is a little bit more casual than a brand, you know, tasting all about Christmas, appreciating Christmas, appreciating the year that is going by, uh, making wishes and try our new Christmas. So that, that's all about it. But at the same time, I can answer. So, any so I have a question uh, about Paul John, of course. So, uh, so but when let me start with Paul John, actually, because yeah, I got a little confused originally when Paul John came on the market. So it's. Mm -hmm. So Paul John is 100%. Is Paul John, can you tell me a little bit about the distillery and how the product is made? Still, of course. So when we are talking about Paul John, especially I want to emphasize on the Indian part of things. Our hashtag is the great Indian single malt. And we truly are proud of being Indian. And that means something. It's not, just not a marketing thing. Uh, with Indian, we are meaning our barley from India. It's sourced from India and malted in India and sent to the distillery. Our copper pot stills designed handmade in India with Indian companies. Every process from harvesting the barley to uh, happens in India. So that's really important for us to reflect that Indian way of making whiskey. And if you look at other But we want as much as possible in India with Indian ingredients. Two things we have to import for our whiskey is the barrels, apparently, and of course the peat. So peat is coming from Scotland. Barrels are coming from all over the world, uh, mainly American oak. Uh, but we're going to go through that in, while tasting the whiskey. So that's the first part of things. Uh, second thing is Paul John wants to issue achieve a tasting style that's really relevant to what we do. So in every other Paul John in the bottle that you have, you will feel something. And then when you go to the other bottle, you will actually feel the basics plus more. So that's what I love about Paul John. When you go through the range, you feel like, okay, I tasted this. Oh, this is different. Or oh, this is more. Or like this is a little bit more you know, twist on it. Uh, let's say in uh, our flagship series, we have three whiskeys called Brilliance, Edited, and Peated. I'm oh, sorry, Brilliance, Edited them bolts. So those three whiskeys are same age, uh, same warehouse, same barrel style, same ABV. And, and, uh, the and is the, the style so of you making see a peat progression. single malt the a same? Style do you copy the traditional uh, Scot Scottish way of making it or do you just, yes. do you, are you bringing a new style of making it? We, we try to follow the Scottish uh, style. Uh, we're trying, what I mean is we follow it, but it's not written in India yet. There are works going on. Uh, but what's happening is, yeah, we uh, dub, dub, double okay, the that's, that, was, that was my next question. What's the barrels, average age of, least your, of your whiskeys? So the, the, we, 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 yeah. yeah. It, it, uh, average age different, like the problem with that is that I, I'm not going to tell you anything more than age today because where we make the Correct. whiskey in Southwest India uh, is known for its tropical and, climate. And that, so we are talking that about was, that was, you, you are literally reading my mind right now. Because, you know, I, I always yeah. tell people one of the things I've realized <laughs> uh, is that a single malt whiskey doesn't seem to do so good in hot, warm weather, right? It, it seems like single malt whiskey does better in colder weather or, or low temperature weather. So that's why... When the uh, first time I saw Paul John, I said, how can single malt whiskey age well in India? It's so, you know, I'm from Africa. And it's the same temperature. We are in the same longitude. So it's, it's hot. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> Woo. We're going to see that together. That brings us to the question of barrel management and, you know, tracing the aging. Uh, I will give you an idea of what's happening. Okay. So this whiskey is a six-year-old whiskey, and it's a natural color. See? It's all about the barrels that you're using. At the same time, this is a seven-year-old whiskey from us. So there's no coloring or whatsoever. The thing is with that, in the angel we are having in India is uh, 8 to 10 percent a year, which is a lot compared to uh, what's happening in Scotland, which is 1 to 3 percent. So that changes the thing for us. So you have to be more careful about how you age your whiskey, how long you're aging your whiskey, tasting everything as you go. So and do you do, do, you do control, control, uh, they have this all control temperature? Of course, of course. Yeah, now, so that's the other thing. We while making this whiskey, we actually took the best of both. So we have two different warehouse styles. One style is what we know as Scottish Danish style, and which you have like four to five bricks at, at most on top of each other. And it's in a different place, I will tell you in a moment. The other style is what we have in the US, the recluses. And we have like around, if I'm not wrong, over the uh, ground level. We have 13, 14 racks. I think they hold around six to 7,000 each. Uh, so those are exposed to everything in the climate. So there's no climate control. It's whatever's happening in the, uh, in the atmosphere, it's happening. But of course, 13, 14 racks, there's a difference in temperature inside the warehouse. The first warehouse I told you, the Dunn style, is actually under the distillery, under the visitor center. So it's covered by concrete. So we have a little bit milder uh, condition over there less temperature, less humidity, we can control it better there. We call that the underground cellar. So underground cellar is pretty important for us because most of our limited editions are coming from there. And yeah, over the ground level, American Rickhouses, yeah, there's wire. Uh, so that's why our whiskeys are starting from three years old, which Nirvana, three to five years old, and it can go up to eight years old. And, but even at three years old, you can taste a very good whiskey uh, in India. And like another example is Kavalan in Taiwan. So the angel share is more there and they can release whiskeys at four or five years. So this is, this is all relevant. It needs an expertise on getting the whiskey out there with the right uh, time and, you know, taste. But with Paul John, we are talking about a few signature flavors. We are known for our livid herbaceous honey, tropical fruits so, and spices. In so every this whiskey, you will be having the those bottle plus that I receive flavors. is the Christmas edition. So I believe I have a sample of the 2021. I think yeah. a little sample of the 2021 Christmas edition. Yeah, that little that little tiny one. Yeah, yeah I love I love I love I, 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 I am bottles, so when I found that one last year, I'm like I really liked it. Is it was just tiny enough. I have a whole collection of just miniature bottles. So, so he, he I, I'll make, experiment I'll cash, make sure you get it, uh, you know, Brandy Oloroso. So it's a blend of three, um, three casks. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the basics of Christmas edition. First of all, I, I always receive this question, like, why are you making Christmas edition in India? So we are making Christmas edition in India because we are from Goa, southwest of India, it used to be a Portuguese colony until 1960s. And since there's like a still big population of Indian uh, Christian people, Catholic people in that part of the world. So we honor the tradition of the holidays and Christmas edition was born from there. We started that in 2018. And the basic idea is to capture the Christmas flavors, like, you know, uh, Christmas cake, nutmeg, cinnamon, smoke, uh, with different barrels. So 2018, we started with an Oloroso finish. 2019 was a PX finish. 2020 uh, was a blend of three again. 2021 was a Portuguese barrel uh, finish. This time, we actually did something different. So what we did is we blended uh, three different whiskey styles together. So the first one is ex-bourbon uh, aged whiskey. First fill, ex-bourbon barrels. This, uh, the second one is primary, firstly uh, aged okay. in ex-bourbon barrels, then finished in Paul John Exo brandy casks. And uh, if you haven't, which you have a sample. Yeah, oh, okay. A sample that's the one I have. But in real life, it Ooh, looks like this. Ooh, that's a beautiful bottle. It is. I've it, never it seen that before. That's a beautiful <laughs> bottle. Yeah. 
So, wow. We we o- we only have nine hundred seventy <laughs> bottles plus what I. No, well, those put, are that's my just a what I design bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's an I can I can talk about that in a bit. So bourbon finished in EXO branded barrels. Then the third whiskey is okay. uh, ex-bourbon barrels that used to have peated whiskey in it, then finished in Olorosa casks. So the peat you will be tasting okay. is only coming from the barrel itself. Yeah, I was about to ask uh, a question. If you don't mind, if, let's pour in, see. What so can... let's say somebody yeah. start drinking just this yeah. today, right? They never had Paul John and they start this. The real question would uh-huh. be, if you want to introduce, because I teach, you know, I teach, uh, I, when I do uh, whiskey education, I do whiskeys from around the world, or I do scotch school. And one of the things people always ask is, where do I start, right? So let's say they tried something mm-hmm. that I pour, which I'm going to try this today, but they never had Paul John in their life. Where did they start? Uh, so oh, yeah. let me see. I, I let me look at your samples. What do you here, have? Which is the... Which is the XO? Um, hold on. Yeah. Let me see. I, actually, give me just a second. I, I know where my phone is. <laughs> hold on. Sure, sure, sure. You got all the time. And meanwhile, that's, that's a good collection of EXT. I like it. Well, if you have any questions, meanwhile, guys, please don't hesitate to ask from chat. We'll be happy to answer them. Uh, oh, Shay said those Christmas editions are so just the these best. Yeah, these are my ball collection that I've already. This is already so I have fifth the, edition. The Nirvana Unpeated. Um, awesome. awesome. I have so, the that, classic. Uh-huh. And classic. Uh, I have okay. the edit. Keep it on the table. <laughs> and I have the. Another classic, uh-huh. but That's yeah. So, and a, I wanted to classic. actually try it at cast strength. So that's why I bought the classic. So I bought these bottles. Okay. Four year, four and a half years. So ago. what? I, when Paul John was quite new, because I was like, as an immigrant, I was so happy awesome. to see that India was coming up with whiskey, and I was just curious. So that those are the bottles I could get. Okay. All right, let's do it this way. Uh, keep the classic okay. on the table. Let's have a dram of that first to get you okay. understand the flavors better. Because classic is the bottle, what I call Goa in a bottle. I think it, it okay. represents so Paul John the classic, Wattie, what we want to is do. It, is the it classic. just the 52 point, the 52, the 52, the 55.2? Is it cast strength or is it 52. just? 55.2%. Is it just uh, the, how yeah. the Ikama? Yeah. It is okay. our cast All right. It is our it is our cast strength whiskey. I'm checking if I have a bottle here. Uh, so I mean be- I, I mean beautiful classic bottle. <laughs> it tells a lot a little bit about the story of Paul John that I actually read through yep. type of cask. And that's how I found that I didn't have all the Paul John mm-hmm. because it has a booklet of everyone that Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have more now. We have we have around 10, 11 bottles as of now. So what first, you will be tasting is and aged in... About four years old barrels. as well? Yeah. Eight? Eight? Uh, coming from... Bo- no. Bo- why is the color this way? <laughs> okay. Uh, it's pretty, like, expert will cast gives it that way. So it's pretty, actually, uh, the, the usual color that we are expecting. I have something similar to that here. So it's 55, oh, 55.2, 100, 110.4. 55.2, yeah. Yeah, Four. this was, uh, yeah. So this oh, is like okay. a single barrel version uh, that we made. So so we have yeah, class, the, yeah, classic what, and peated in single what, barrel form. So this is the one yeah. we made for Ohio liquor. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, it's healthy. And this, this is fabulous. I love this one a lot. Hello, Pankaj, Berkin. Nice to see you. familiar names there. Oh, 
we have quite a lot of different uh, single barrels. Wow. Oh, thank you, Pankaj. I love that comment. So it is the only... you will be tasting a lot like of honey. A huge... When I was a kid, I, I, I didn't grow up really rich. Mm -hmm. So what you will have is... Um, Give me one second, Jay. No, 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 no. So we used to eat. Sorry uh, about that. Breakfast. I have a crazy cat in the house. You have um, <laughs> broken. Um, they call it. I think is unmalted, unmalted, um, uh, unmalted uh, uh, oatmeal. Like they will not open the oatmeal. It's still raw oatmeal. And when you when we will make it, we'll put milk and honey in. And that's how you sweeten it. Yeah. So honey and yeah, yeah, molly. Oh, molly. So this is this yeah. this when I had my exactly. first sip. That's that's so good. That's, that's so what good. I got. Mm -hmm. So you from now on, what I want you to okay. feel also is the texture. That's really important for us because it. It is going to be a little bit different than a lot of whiskeys you have tasted. Thick citrus, some nice citrus in it. Yep, and there was like a huge... orange, orange zest. Yeah. So one thing, one thing we are doing in India, which is so important at Paul John whiskey, is we are using Indian barley, which is six row barley, and six row barley is known for its uh, high protein content, which ends up. Uh, making the whiskey texture really creamy and like higher, with higher viscosity. So that's really important for us too. That's the only barley type we are using. Even let me, though let me bring uh, that having a low yield of alcohol and volume, we love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good way to put it. I love dropping a couple uh, drops of water to uh, water. You know, John's I, classic actually, I actually kick myself. Because because he, he, I'm telling you, this is the batch manufacturer August of 16. And I remember I bought this. I literally bought this early, early, mm -hmm. I would say early end of 18, beginning of 19. And this been sitting, it's been sitting on my, on my shelf. Like, I'm right. like, oh, I have Indian whiskey. Yeah. That's slowly. Uh, yeah, it's batch and if that's the batch, batch in 2016, that might be a little bit younger. Oh, yeah, uh, three is not that important, but if it's from 2016, that might be a little bit younger. Mm. Okay. Yep. I don't and even, it will for me, it's, like, it's just a little finish, pepper, just love. a little pepper, but it gives you that warmth yep. and it just on your chest that you just feel perfectly. Okay. So just okay. Uh, so if somebody had to start somewhere, sign signature the classic okay. will be where you okay. want them. So starting yeah. point. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, for people who are who know single malt, yes. Who are bourbon drink? Who are bourbon drinkers okay. and they don't know which single is, malt very well? I will get them start from Nirvana. Because it's the yeah, orange one. Yeah, that's our entry level whiskey, but that gives a better. Uh, I like entry yeah. idea. Yeah, this it's, is younger, it's very, it's very low proof. Uh, at forty percent, having the same flavors in different way. Yep, and also really budget uh, wall. So like this budget is Nirvana. As you can tell, like I said, I think I bought Nirvana. Really, like a bottle of at the duty yeah. free. That's where I got it. It was. Oh. Okay, because yeah. we we released Nirvana in twenty twenty. In US, yeah. So uh, it's, uh, oh, it's seventy. Is it seven fifty or seven hundred? I was coming. I was coming back to the US, and I grabbed the bottle. Probably got it from. Um, yeah. So, whenever a 
regular bourbon drinker wants to try Paul John, this is the bottle to go because it has similar vanilla coconut. How many? And honey how many of your of your bourbon get transitioned in very well? And since you, you, you say start, you use the classic way, do you all start everything in ex bourbon cask and then move them? Okay. Eh, okay. Which one? Everything starts in ex bourbon barrels, ex except one whiskey. Uh, yeah, I never, I never even me seen that bottle in my life. That's our one limited edition whiskey. <laughs> okay, we, so what we'll is, fix that. What is, what is <laughs> what, what is, what is So, Mituna Mituna is a crazy whiskey. It was named as a... Mit, yeah. Mituna is the second whiskey in our Zodiac range. Mm -hmm. And if you can see the sign, it is Indian counterpart of Gemini. So that that's a different one because um, okay. this is the second in the series. Yeah. The first one was Kanya which is the Virgo. So we named the whiskey after we tasted it. And after tasting this whiskey, after we made it, when, when mm -hmm. we felt it was ready, it started to change Gemini. character every flip, other flip, minute. Flip, 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 And if you look yeah. at the Zodiac signs, Gemini no offense to all the Gemini multi-character. Gemini's yep. don't cancel us. So that's why we named we, it we that. Ju we just we, know how you We are. love you. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my mom is a Gemini. <laughs> so... This whiskey was okay. aged for, started aging in American virgin oak. So four years spent in that, then we transferred it to second Felix program barrels. So that's what, the only whiskey is, which started in uh, New York. What is, what is that nose? Like when, you, when you're done with the whiskey, yeah. there's a specific nose to, to this. There's something. There's like in the empty glass, it does not even... That, I think we are talking about some cool crepes. Yep. That, that's, that's what I remember. Where every Absolutely. empty bottle, a glass Absolutely. of water. Because as you can imagine, I have a lot a of empty used glasses of water, which, which is waiting for me at the sink. Wow. Yeah. You know, now I kick myself because I should have explored more. Because the right. reason why is... I had one of the Paul John, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. I had one of the Paul John. It was aged, I believe, in a cask. I think it was like Oloroso or something. And it just had a bitter and tasting. And I'm like, mm, I don't like this. It was, it was just, mm. uh, the finish was just off. But the funny thing is, if this is where we, if this is where we started, I, I, I'm looking forward to this so. tasting. I will do one. I will, I will put it in this way. Uh, I, I'm an avid whiskey drinker. You can see that. And I am always saying that you, it's not possible to like every single bottle of Paul John because we, we are having different things. It, it's not like, I, I don't think someone will like oh, all no. of you, you whiskeys, got me but a there's classic. definitely one bottle. You already got me a classic. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest already. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yes. So, if Let's move to the Christmas. Is where we starting, and obviously is you know that was cast strength at fifty five point two. Mm -hmm. The Christmas, as you say, is a blend of three different. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, blend of three <laughs> different single malts. <coughs> yeah. The, the uh, thank you, the to you soon, IBD brother. Degree. Thanks for comment. Yeah, IBD was a great experience. Oh, uh, IBD is Institute of Brewing and Distilling. Congratulations, uh, brother! And I just completed. So, are you going to start distilling uh, yourself in distillation? <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Maybe exactly, in the future. Right. Sure. And who said I? Nice, I'm not doing bottle. it right now. Christmas 2022. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, there, there, there's a story. There's a story about that. Um, so normally we, our bottles are clear, aside from the new. Nirvana bottle. Nirvana bottle is a little bit darker. Oh. Yeah. So all Christmas editions have always come in a uh, clear bottle. But this year, due to the bottle shortage in the world, we were okay. also a victim okay. of that. So we used our Nirvana bottles for this year's edition. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. Because we love the color. Absolutely. Congratulations. Of our this is it's a big yes. deal. You, you, you just, you right just brushing it off. Um, it's a big deal. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. 
it, it, it's a fun thing. Right. I love, I love, I love it, getting it. No, I'm, uh, I'm very, very. I change glasses. So let's see what you got. I want to make sure I'm fair. All right. Yes. And as as you pour into it, I want you to know ask you something. How was your year? Like, how did twenty twenty two go? That's a hard through? question because I was actually just thinking about it before our live. I will, I will totally say that I have two careers. <sighs> by day, I run an agency for insurance and finance, and by night, I teach about whiskey and around in the whiskey oh. field. I will say twenty twenty two was actually an impressive, an impressive year. I was featured in American Whiskey Magazine. I was featured in uh, in, in Whiskey Advocate. Um, I got a chance to actually do uh, whiskey and African food pairing dinners around the U.S. Uh, with uh, with uh, Heaven Hill. Uh, I had a chance to teach about s seven major classes, uh, showing people whiskeys from around the world. That's why I opened the classic because my last class. People were asking whiskey from Asia, and I didn't have anything Chinese, but I did have Paul John that was representing India. So it's one of those things where I would say that I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed because 2022 in the whiskey field, I've had a, a chance to collaborate with a lot of brands. I've seen, you know, the knowledge that I've packed in the last four years, I got a chance to show it off. And I'm looking really forward to, uh, to teach more classes and bring people truly around whiskey and and uh, and hopefully create a bigger community around it yeah perfect incredible job oh uh, by the way hello oh, yeah. whiskey society nice to see you guys that turkey is where i'm from if you don't know by the way <laughs> the notes yeah, yeah. so all right let's taste it so what do you feel so the nose have a little bit of a little bit of that sweetness coming through uh a little herbal notes i'm assuming that's from a little bit of the pea some herbal note coming through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the malt correct 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 and don't forget herbal notes pizza's only coming from the that honey don't that heavy it. honey you can you can get it immediately on the nose dark cherries a little bit of chocolate note hovering around yep yeah, I'm getting a little, just a weird, just a little dark chocolate, but but not more like dark chocolate, more like cocoa, a little bit of cocoa coming through, and a bit of baking spice, just a oh, little okay. bit of that baking spice. So, all the notes that you will expect at Christmas. <laughs> so, <coughs> perfect. Slide, yeah. That that's what we are trying to do. Let's have a sip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing like a whiskey at noon, right? I just came Whoa. back from New York to LA. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see the blend now. I understand what's going on now. So I, I would say yep. I know, I now know the one that I, uh, I, had, I thought was a little off. That was your Oloroso. That's the one I tried. That was the that was the one because I, oh, as I go through okay. this, this whiskey is very layered. <laughs> I, I love that it's layered in taste. Uh -huh. So the beginning give me a little bit of that bourbon. The middle give me a little bit of that oloroso. The finish is where I'm actually getting a slight yep. beat. It's not there. It's really not there, but just a slight, you know, veggie yeah. kind of herbalish at the end. But the front sweet, a remind me of tart marmalade. That's the front. Yeah. It's incredibly juicy mm -hmm. this year. I love it a lot. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, juicy, I'm meaning that when you drink it, your mouth just becomes a little bit more wet and you want some more. I like it. It is hard to have a whiskey and being truly able to break down the flavor notes that actually break down the whiskey, but if somebody asked me one word to describe this whiskey is layered. <coughs> it's perfectly layered. Like you can distinctively Same. break Perfect. down one, two, and three. Oh, in this, and it is, 
I agree Those with citrusy you. notes, I don't know where I'm getting them from, but that citrusy note is almost what makes your mouth like watery, like literally watery. Yeah, whiskey vibras is sound available. You can't hear anything. Yeah, it is oh, all right. Yeah, on our I can. Part. I can hear. Can I, we can hear each other. Good. Can y'all hear us? <laughs> Maybe you can just yeah. click off and come back in. That usually helps. Oh my God! Yeah. Instagram have just been weird. Instagram is a, is a little bit weird today, honestly. Dude, yeah, it is. It is. It is not. Is not. So this, this is a, This is something I'm different. Used to. This is. That's why I have to remind. Like, if you've been drinking single mm -hmm. malt for a while, this is something I'll put in front of my single malt friends in a blind, by the way, to see if they can yep. pick it up because I want to know if they will tell me is a Scottish oh. Oh. whiskey, right? <laughs> Because take a look at oh that. Let's make it possible. <laughs> and the nose, the nose evolves as you sit down, as you let it sit a bit. The the yeah. nose evolves. I was just gonna say that. Now you read mine. <laughs> so, Mister Paul John, who is one of the men, like he was a big man behind the whiskey. Uh, whenever I meet him, he's like always oh, he. When we do tastings, you know, you have to pre-pour sometimes, or you have to pour and go fast. He doesn't like that because he always says that yeah, that Paul John whiskey should sit in the glass for like ten minutes, and you will taste a better with like you know you will taste an opened up whiskey, which will be amazing. And he's right in most of the conditions. And as I'm saying, like when you open those bottles, when you drink Paul John, if you have time, spend some time, uh, just you know leave like it in the, the glass nose, for five to ten minutes. Like it's by the minute, drastically. The nose evolves. Um, more of yep. those those bacon spice chocolate note are coming more front and back at the beginning when I was just getting honey and sweetness and cherry notes those are going away as it said mm -hmm. it's coming up yeah yeah honey is diminishing but then and I want a, a more flavor that I'm gonna glass get just to actually right see now. if I get all the notes that actually are coming through the you know what? A lot of people say they can actually make you feel a certain way with their whiskey, but pe most people don't succeed. They just do it their way. Mm -hmm. But I truly believe you guys did capture Christmas in in, in this one. Thank you very much. Thank you. That that this is this is a unique project uh, that we we love to do. And Michael and all the guys at the distillery, they are doing an exceptional job creating this whiskey. And mm -hmm. Michael is also a perfectionist, so he doesn't mm. need the whiskey before it's ready. <laughs> he waits mm. for that. Mm -hmm. when, you, when you wait more, it's just the, the Christmas cake flavor. Cherry, coming. bacon spice. Love it. A lit, just a dash of... Just a dash of cinnamon. It's a dash of. It's like having Christmas cake cookie yeah. or get Christmas cake syrup. That's that's the best way to put it. Is that's slowly what we're having right now. It's and funny, funny enough. That's lovely. That's lovely. I think the consistency of that feeling, aftertaste feeling that you get, that warmth that you get in your body, is. I always, th I always think about Paul John is like, you sip correct, like correct. an amount of. I will, I will agree, and it just expands. I will agree. In you. This is, and that's what I love about Paul. So, John. this is out only once a year. That's once a year. Um, mm -hmm. This one is only two thousand bottles in the U.S. Only two thousand bottles, so. If you go to your what 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 does distribution looks like? And oh, it, it is weird. Uh, you know, it's, distribution has been a while this year, so it it is in most of the major metro states. Uh, I can tell you that uh, if you want okay. to control states, if anybody is interested, they can contact me directly uh, from 
We, they can contact us from Paul John Whiskey. They can contact me from Whiskey Monster or Corai underscore Whiskey. And let, let me know your zip code or where you are. We'll, we'll try to find you because, you know, it's a very limited edition, but Tuna. it's in most okay. of the major states. Yeah. I can tell you that. <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, whiskey Fair. Like Aaron, nice to see you, brother. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing yard work. You're too making me grab a cigar, some single cast, Paul John. My Matuno was killed a week, few weeks ago. And, Need to replace it. And that's, the, that's uh, one of the craziest things is I, I is have gone. quick, good question. If I take Paul John for tasting today to cigar mm -hmm. smokers, right? Because every time I have to do a whiskey class, I always, I always Ooh. have to think of those people, okay. right? It's like, okay, if you smoke cigars, which whiskey probably pair best, especially in a variety of things. So, if you had to, if, if I had to take three Paul John expression to a cigar I, bar today for a tasting, what would you recommend? Mm -hmm. I would firstly do Nirvana because it's light and easy and it creates a great pair if you don't want to be you know, getting offended uh, with the whiskey. If you just want a pair, I would suggest Nirvana. Then Classic, again, is a great pair is what I'm usually uh, smoking if I am doing that with Paul John. And I which, think for the last which one, is, I would go with I our heavily to, peated to look cast back and see if I have one because peated. I've had your peated whiskey and I never had it, right? I, I bought it. I know I bought a bottle and um, I remember I have one of your whiskeys that I, I can't help myself to actually it want to open looks because like, Charlie yeah. Prince, a good friend of mine from the Drummers Club, did a pick with you guys in a rye, mm -hmm. X, an X rye barrel. E Hold on. Uh, no. I, have, I have my, okay. I have my, I have my Charlie Prince. We did two picks with them. Well, John. Yep, no worries. It's the this, second Phil X bourbon the, barrel, which no, is, this is no, okay. incredible this, whiskey, by the way. Yeah, he did, he did a, a bourbon. That, you were that, right. That's the Emirate. That's the Emirate, yeah. Yeah, we we also have, yeah. So that was the first one, which was in second Phil X bourbon barrels. And also, Drummer's Club's second pick is about to come to New York. If you're looking for the Peter, that should be looking like a classic bottle, a little bit darker. Yeah, for uh, some reason. I can Yep, that's an my incredible peated. whiskey. The peated, uh, the, the, my peated uh, Paul John, because no worries, bro. that's the one I've always been curious about. Are you 100%, um, yeah. are you, you know, is the malt being peated before it goes in a cask or are you guys doing the ex peated cask? So we have a few different peat versions. So the edited which you have on okay. the table right now, yeah, that's interesting because that's like a mildly peated whiskey. Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. So mildly peated means a little bit different. Okay. We blend lightly peated whiskey and unpeated whiskey together to create that. Then we have bold, which is made with 100% peated barley. And it is actually... Um, okay. You, it, it has a hundred percent isla peat in it, and the peated version, which uh, the cast strength one, is a blend of Highland and isla peat, and again hundred percent isla uh, isla peat. Sorry, hundred percent malted uh, peated uh, malt is used in that whiskey. Okay. So with the casks, we only do that in limited edition sometimes, just like Christmas edition. But okay. usually we okay. have the peat. Uh, imported from Scotland to India in the winter times, I and mean, in winter we do peated production and uh, to keep so, the humidity level obviously uh, intact. Now, now that I have you, I, will, I have to ask all the questions. Uh, the so please, please. The XO says that is a hundred percent Indian grape brandy. What, what does what does that mean? Oh yes. Here we go. So, we, with doing the brandy, so in India, if you go and look in a, a broader way, we will see there's like a incredible uh, consumption of whiskey and spirits. And we are talking about the highest consumption of whiskey in the world. And in India, seven out of 10, sorry, in the world, seven out of 10 best-selling whiskey of the world are from India. 
but we don't have them in the US because they are made for local market. They're a little bit uh, lower quality, which means they're green spirits mixed with molasses spirits. And they, their prices are ranging from five to fifteen dollars, so they're cheap. But you know, when right. there's like one point three billion people to feed with whiskey, that's how you do it. And that also give, like keeps the light on for any of the passion projects like Paul John. So with Paul John, as I told you, we wanted to do bring Indian, to emphasize on Indian word. And same thing we wanted to do with brandy because we do brandy too in our uh, Indian spirits. We have different kind of brandies and we have a winery called Big Banyan. So we wanted to use that uh, the same way. Uh, but how could we make a 100% grape, Indian grape brandy is a little bit different because this time we brought in wines from friends, Uniblan. We planted them in, in India. We let it grow, let it ripe, let it be, become of age. And then we harvested them. Uh, we used another Indian local grape called Bangalore Purple, blended them together, distilled in our whiskey stills, aged in French Limousano for eight to 10 years. So both of the grapes were grown in India and we did everything in India again. That's how we did that this time. So now, this now is I have to, I, I'm going to try it to see what it looks like. It's, it's just... Man. Come. It's just beautiful. It's, it, I oh, mean, please. the design is beautiful. Comes with a bottle like that. But, so, X Brandy cask, how long is it in those casks? It is amazing. Okay. Oh, the nose. The, the nose Eight is just... Years. Oh. So not... The nose remind me... The nose is minty. Yeah, exactly. And... Give it some time. You you will feel great flavors like coconut, uh, stone fruits, which I love. So, what did you say Sweet about vanilla. that bottle? Is it still available to buy? What what what? Is it is it duty free only? Since there's only what, yeah, 8, it's still available. available. It's oh. super limited. We are nine hundred. So we we only have nine hundred seventy two. Uh, nine hundred seventy two. It is not super expensive, honestly. It is around. 150 160 it's to my knowledge it's available in new york florida uh, uh, <coughs> new, uh california right now i can check it for you but for me it's a great thanksgiving after dinner uh spirit <laughs> i like, like that face <laughs> it's, it is hard for whiskey to make you smile well, Mates, love to see you. What's up, malt mates? For me, it's hard for whiskey to make you smile. Yeah. This is this is a smile in the cup. <laughs> oh, in <laughs> California, Aaron. Yes, Cypress Craft. Uh, yes, yeah, Sam from Cypress. Friend. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I have to California. reach out to them if yeah, they Sam have. Sam and Sean. They they had, yeah. Uh, yeah, they have. Cyprus, actually, Cyprus, Cyprus does a really today good job. Wednesday. Cyprus is amazing. Cyprus is amazing. Mm. And you know what? Sam is going to probably visit Paul John Distillery in India in the coming months. You know what? I want to visit your distillery because Cyprus. now now I feel like this would be the perfect whiskey to actually do a single cast pick. Because, because the way your whiskey let, is, let's, I'm let's very curious. <laughs> to see what it will look like. It's, um... It is an amazing experience. I was there back in 2019 before COVID hit. And honestly, it's not just whiskey. Like when, I, when I go to Scotland, same thing. Uh, it is always about going to whiskey distillery. You meet people, you understand the culture. That's how it goes. And same happened in India. I went to the distillery. I tasted everything. I tasted single cast, met the team, met the people around the distillery, met the local people, eat, ate the local food. I think that experience is more important for, for me than just I, uh, tasting whiskey. And I, that's um, what will happen. This right here. It's a smile in a cup. Like, that's the best way for me to, to describe it. This is a smile in a cup. Is yep, yep. I'll write that down. <laughs> Malt mate, Zodiac three still waiting. Any updates? There's no updates. Nobody knows anything yet. 
uh probably will make a, a, a couple more years wow uh, because dude Tuna just came up came in last year so i think it's gonna uh, take a couple I, more years so which bring me to the question do you guys have consultants that are working from scotland to work in that distillery or is a hundred percent indians that are working in, in that so when we start when we started we had some cult consultants and we worked with them but, but then we decided on working with only our team in india is the best way to go uh and since that day it's only indian team working on and michael is a self-taught uh, master distiller he loves to travel go and learn bring the best from the world of whiskey and he has been the master blender uh for the john distillers which is the parent company making the local spirits and he came Came as a blend, um, like he has a wine background, and he became a master blender for our spirits. Then he started as the master distiller when we first started production, and he has been there. He knows everything. Incredible character, and he he also raised a team of distillers now at the distillery. So it's it's all Indian. It's perfectly Indian. Uh, that, that's <laughs> I, I think I am. <laughs> I might be the only one who is out of that Indian uh, score. Yeah, but, but yeah, I will put it in this way, honestly, I had, I, I wasn't that introduced to Indian culture before I started this job. And after I started learning about, about India, I currently have a huge respect uh, of the way of the culture of the country, uh, which is so uh, huge I love and single different, malt. diverse. Like it's but I can tell you this, US. I love single malt. I've been drinking, I started with JB when I was probably 14 years old. That's how, you know, JMB, that's how I started, you know, in my single malt mm -hmm. journey. And I'm I'm almost 39 years old now, and I I drink a lot of I know you love to pee that whiskey. I drink a lot of, you know, a lot of a lot of single malt. What I look for is what's different. What's what's what you know, what sparked my interest. What what is it? And for all of you guys watching, if you never tried yeah. Paul John. And if you're into single malt at all, I will, I will, no, I wouldn't even say dare you. I will challenge you to, to, to challenge your palate and see what, what it looks like to try a malt from a different region that is not from Scotland, to try a process that was made in a different environment and age actually is rarely that you see a single malt age in a brandy cask. You don't see that a lot. You see more in wine cask and into, you know, ex-bourbon rye, whatever. But even the classic that you have here, for me, it's... And that Christmas release shows really what the Master Blender actually is about, what the layers... Like I say, it's a layer of flavor. You, yeah. you almost want to get in to go, I'll let it sit for 10 minutes. I'll let it sit for 15. I'll come back to it. I would drink it and come back and smell the the empty cup, see what I get. I would say, I, I would say you yeah, you made me a too. Paul John believer. Now I I literally will have to like I want to I want to pick a Paul John cask now. Like I'm like I, now I'm very curious to see what is it that you guys are working on. What what are things that you guys are working on? But <laughs> I will be honest and say it's. And I always tell people, there's the same thing that happened in the industry is you may be introduced to a brand by one thing that you may not like and just write the brand off. But then you go back and try something different. That's why you have to keep an open yeah. mind in the industry. And this classic here, amazing. The This is this is what I want for Christmas now. This 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 right here is, is, is <laughs> definitely, you know, at 46 oh, proof, right. it has this. <laughs> chef's kiss that's and this christmas level is for people that really on a cold night i was i can see myself just enjoying that so uh, uh i will tell you right now i'm you made me a paul john Perfect believer theater. now now i'm i'm curious i'm gonna start looking at what don't i have from right. paul john that's you know that's really what i need to look for just what don't i have from paul john and what is it that you know, I'm going to keep a, a, a serious eye on you guys now on what are the things that you guys are doing. Thank you. Well, as we're as we filling the hour, 
I will. I want to add with one question, which I asked to my guests in the last three years. You know, what is your wish from Christmas? I, I always wish、uh, good health to my to you know to the people around me because without health you can do anything. You can you can do anything. But I I always say when、well, somebody asks me, well, what's what's the one wish you want? And I said, if someone can let me for a month. Let me go, pay for me to go to Scotland, go to Kavalan in Taiwan, and now I'm gonna add Paul John in India, and then come back home. I'll be a ha- the happiest person on earth. I, I was I was talking to you know Glen Boyd, the Glen Boyd kid. I'm like, hey,、Perfect. I'm I'm trying to get to Scotland. We need to we need to make this happen. And he's like, oh yeah. We we need to talk, but for me, that's my wish. Everybody everybody wants something. I'm like, I don't care about gift. Let me go spend some time in Scotland. Go down to you know Taiwan,、uh, in Cavalan, and now I want to I want to see what Paul John is about. I want I want to go、mm-hmm. see that distillery, and that be that be my wish for this year. But it's a、uh, For, but for I, now, I, it's I, good I, I help. Without、sure、help, we can do anything. In the last two years, we've <laughs> lost a lot of people, you know, because of、yeah. health issues of and you know the COVID and whatnot. So for me now, more than anything, is good health. If you have good health, everything else is possible. Life can be bad. Life can be terrible. But if you have good health, we thank the Lord for it. That's. Ep- Totally、What's、agree. up, man? Meanwhile, Distillery Two Ninety One from Colorado. We love you guys. We love you. Have you visited? Like my, what, what, you, 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 place, you need, you need their, to visit.、Uh, no, I didn't have it. Two Nine One, Two Nine One. You know, they they say yeah, their I hashtag mean, is Two Nine One Family,、Colorado. and they live by that line. If you go, if you go there, they they will treat you. I would love to visit them next time. I, I'm trying to go to every distillery I can. Like、uh, whenever I visit somewhere, I'm taking care of all the distilleries. But Denver,、uh, Colorado, wasn't a、uh, chance. Next time, Manish K. I was done drinking for that, the night, but you just made me pull out the Christmas edition of Twenty Twenty Two and my Rocky Patel.、Air. That's a beautiful night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Jack, guys, thank you very much for joining us. Guys, I'll、uh, tell you right now, if you awesome, have not,、uh, and to the year, if you have not thought about, for all of you guys that like single malt, and I see a lot of you people that follow me that love single malt, for all of you that like single malt, I guarantee you, I put my reputation on this. I guarantee you, if you start with the classic, you find the brandy XO, and that Christmas bottle right here. You can thank me later. You can literally thank me later. I'm not gonna say anything now. Just thank me later when you actually try those. <laughs> is Paul John is is doing it? They 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 know what the heck is they're doing. So thank you for having me on on your channel. And you're, you're very welcome to join. And let me know, guys, if you have any problems of you know finding anything, any questions. You can send it to Paul John Whiskey. You can send it to me on Whiskey Monster Whiskey with Doctor E. And oh, I forgot to tell the SRP for Christmas edition. Affordable. Else, That's what he's trying to、uh, say. It's affordable. Eighty-five dollars. Eighty-five. It's affordable, and it's worth. It's worth every single penny. Well,、uh, it definitely is worth every single penny if you if you spend the money. And when you go, ask them if they have the classic. Add it to it. Get both. Get both. Uh, what do you think about Paul John Oloroso、yeah. cast? So Oloroso cast is this I guy. No, I don't think that's the one. I don't think this is、Correct. the Oloroso you tasted, Chad, because、yeah. we had an we we had a we had a former Oloroso which was really limited, and it for me it was an amazing whiskey. I will tell、okay. you.、Uh, this is an Oloroso that we released、uh, in the last、uh, year. Forty-eight percent, five years in bourbon barrels, two years in Oloroso casks. And we also have a sibling expression, which is the PX Pedro Jimenez. Same thing, five years bourbon, two years、uh, Pedro Jimenez.、Uh, they are both crazy and, models. And, and this you. is your time. This、and、is your time. If you have questions right now,、incredible. go ahead and ask、I、your question right now. The man is here to answer your questions. If you have any, don't don't be shy. This is not the time to be shy. We have about two more minutes.、Yeah. Don't be shy. Jump in. Ask your question, and 
you know, mm -hmm. he, 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 he's the person that, if there is an answer to be had, this, this is the man to give you an answer. Pro probably I will try to give you all the answers I can, but th this has yeah. been, uh, you know, for, for a lot been, of people, this has been It's been tough for me on the one side, it's it been tough that year. I don't really pass um, my time thinking about the toughness. I, I, I really pass my time thinking course. about what I've succeeded at. And that's the, that's exactly why I am doing this because you know, come on, twelve days. Let's wish for the best. Let's remind, remember the good things. Respect the people that we lost and uh, honor everything that we want to honor. And it's my look in the future. Pleasure. It's, it's my pleasure. Can do that. And thank you very much for joining again. No, I, we need to meet because I'll I see met you soon. everybody. I would love know, to at, uh, meet you I, in person and do a tasting I together. I believe uh, in New Orleans, I tells is when correct. I. That's when I got a chance to see you for uh -huh. a minute because you're a busy. I was, I, I was but, there you too. You know, in uh, in Florida, yeah, yeah. I met your, your yeah, yeah. Uh, the guy that was pouring then in Florida. But we need to make it happen. We need we need to talk. There's a lot that we we need to do. Yeah. So, uh, I I, yeah. I would love to to sit yeah, down and talk, talk right after the holidays sure. and. Uh... Your brother. <laughs> Moth mates, what's my favorite expression? <laughs> Too hard question. I will say, like, literally too hard question. Like, I, I've been briefing Paul John for the years. Is Mituna going away or there will be a... Mituna is a one-off expression. My favorite... So, if... I, I'm always saying that. On a rainy day, I will drink bold. Yeah, on, when it's fire. cold, on a sunny cold, day, I will go, go with... Pete. And yes. now, right now, <laughs> I don't know yeah. where my Peter whiskey is, but yeah. I, will, I will be looking for my Paul John Peter because I really want to try your Peter expression to see what exactly is it that I'm getting? Sure. 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 First case, let me know. Then um, I was say on a special uh, celebration, Mituna is of course the way to go. Thanksgiving dinner, XO. Uh, there is a different yep. drink for everything. But yeah, like I, I, I love more than one Paul John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those, every, Thank every, you. Like all of them are my kids. Take care, and you have a you have a great right, one. Brother. And uh, if Thank you, you ever much. need Take anything, care. let me have know. A great I'll, holiday. I'll be more than happy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a I'm a Paul John fan now, so <laughs> sure, we'll talk. <laughs> All right, thank you. Bye, guys. Cheers. Perfect. Thank you very much. Take care, brother. We'll talk later.